Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick, and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys? We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Husband! Wife! Do you know where we are and what's happening and what we're doing? Well, we are still in Isaiah, and uh, I believe yesterday we went over Isaiah chapter 13. I sure as fuck did. Um, and there was some, uh, they were they were killing all the Babylons, Babylonians. The Babylonians. Ba- Babylonians, yeah. And uh, that was... Uh, I guess fun in God's eyes, maybe. Yeah. Oh, he was, he was yeah. Having fun there with was, that, maybe. There was some baby killing and woman raping. Right. Happening. It just seemed too um, aggressive. Aggressive and maybe like too uh, gleefully murderous. Yes. Yes. Unnecessarily. Right. Excited to go. Get yeah. Em. It, it was get a bit. Em. It was a bit much. Mm-hmm. Over, the, Over top. the top. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that was uh, Isaiah chapter thirteen. Yes. And today we're going to be going over. Isaiah chapter 14. Let's do this. Okie dokie. Okay, Isaiah chapter 14. Okay. You ready for this? I am. I'm ready. The Lord will have compassion on Jacob. I call bullshit. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it depends on what you mean by the word compassion, right? Yeah, is he saying this to the people he already fucking killed, or is this just the ones that are still alive? Yeah, I don't know. Once again, he will choose Israel and will settle them in their own land. Right. After After having killed killed them, he'll choose them. A bunch of them. Then he destroyed the fucking Babylonians. Mm Mm-hmm. And their babies, mm-hmm. and now now he's back to compassion. Yeah, and that's that's mighty um, nice of him. Oh, guess what? What foreigners will join them and unite with the descendants of Jacob? Probably because they there's not well, a wait, lot left. I thought he killed them all. Mm, no, I mean, well, I mean, just the Babylonians. Maybe like the a few the surrounding groups are like Jesus Christ. Let's go fucking join them. Well, I mean, that's, we don't want to end up on his bad side. I don't think they have a lot of choice. There's not a lot of people left. Right. <laughs> right. Like. He killed them all. Yeah, right, right, right. Nations will take them and bring them to their own place. And Israel will take possession of the nations and make them male and female servants in the Lord's land. Oh, I see. So they're not going to join them. They're going to become slaves of. That's not the same. That's that's totally different. That's not, that doesn't equal the same. Yeah, that the way they tried to phrase that initially was... Let's incorrect all, let's all go on a trip together is not the same thing as get over here i have a rope around you and i'm dragging you behind me what a bunch of bullshit it <laughs> is not the that same is, they made it sound like they were like happy and you know joint joining them yeah that is not joint slavery is not joining anything no that's being no. forced into against your will like, right and even if it is your will if you didn't get to walk on your own two fucking feet the, but here's the bullshit of this, right? Somebody out there would be like, but it says they joined them. Right. You know, like they're, they're going to like, and they would quote the fucking line yeah. from the Bible. Like, see, it says here they joined them. Yeah, they did. They but they leave them. out the next fucking sentence. Which is that, but they were slaves and servants. Jesus they were, Christ. They were kidnapped. They were taken. This they is, were forced. This is what I, I you can't, you, people tell me all the time, it doesn't say that. I'm like, they it fucking does. does. It, it does. says it right there. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry that you didn't read your own book. Right? Yeah. That's all that. It, that's all that it boils down to. There is definitely fucking slavery in this book, mm-hmm. all over the fucking place. Yeah, definitely. They will make captives of their captors and rule over their oppressors because vengeance is always a good mm, way to live. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Two wrongs always make a right. <laughs> that's what I learned from the Bible. <laughs> On the day the Lord gives you relief from your suffering and turmoil and from the harsh labor forced on you, you will take up this taunt against the king of Babylon. Oh, now we're going to taunt them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's the taunt. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. How the oppressor has come to an end. How his fury has ended. The Lord has broken the rod of the wicked, the scepter of the rulers, 
which in anger struck down peoples with unceasing blows and in fury subdued nations with relentless aggression. All the lands are at rest and at peace. They break into singing. Even the junipers and the cedars of Lebanon gloat over you and say, Now that you have been laid low, no one comes to cut us down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, this is, this is, uh, I mean, Childish? what the fuck? Yeah. This is, oh, how the turns have tabled. <laughs> <laughs> Look, when somebody punches you and then you get up and you punch them back, I'm not saying that there's not a little bit of gloating to be had. Right. But to stand there taunting and then, like, enslave them. Okay, but this is this is what gets me. This is God, mm-hmm. right? God's doing this, and they're speaking in, in response to something God is telling them to say or, yeah. or, or at least agreeing that they should say it, right? Right. So this is – God is literally taunting – his quote unquote enemies, yeah, or whatever, whatever. his enemies that he used to mm-hmm. kill his own fucking people. Like this yes. is this whole scenario is so fucked. It's not even funny. Yeah, this takes the worst TV show and makes that a good TV show. <laughs> <laughs> the realm of the dead below is all astir to meet you at your coming. I'm, wow, I'm like you're to going, meet oh, it's you the at first, your coming. It's the first uh, instance of them threatening their enemies with hell. Yeah, you're gonna actually, go to hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It it rouses the spirits of the departed to greet you, all those who were leaders in the world. Oh, an ad popped up. <laughs> <laughs> it makes them rise from their thrones. All those who were kings over the nations, they will all respond, and they will say to you, "You also have become weak as we are. You have become like us." Na 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 na. Wow. Right? This is, this is, I mean, this is a long taunt. We're weak and you're weak. Ha, 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 ha. Right? Like, what? That's not, that's not. I think it's you're weak and just like we were weak. But it no. says we are weak and now you are too. Whatever. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, like, they're more weak because they're slaves now. Apparently. Okay, but that's not a brag. Like, we're weak and now you're weak too. Boom. Like, that. that's not the brag and gloat that you think it is. You know, the so the, I would say... The people that are underprivileged now in society are the the workers of America that work in these shitty jobs for next to nothing as far mm-hmm. as wages, right? Mm-hmm. I would never consider taunting them right? for having a better job or a better place in life or anything like that. But you know why? Because you're not an asshole? Well, because they still control what ends up in your food. Right? And yeah. so do these slaves. Yeah. You know, like for Israel, they're, they're very yeah. much doing work for you. So mm-hmm. maybe don't. Maybe, do that. Maybe not be shitty to the <laughs> right. people that you think are quote unquote beneath you. You you, you are going to laugh, I guess, or something, but little do you know what you're actually eating. And, it's and probably not moreover, what you wanted to eat. Moreover, um, like you laugh and then you laugh and then you laugh and then they all go on strike and nobody can buy cars at your plants. Right. Right? Yeah. You laugh and then you laugh and then you laugh and the actors are on strike. Yeah. So there's no movies to be made. Right. Except for strikes back then look more like war. Right. So. Right. I'm just saying like, you know, be careful. Be careful who you piss on. Right. And maybe don't. Maybe don't piss on people. Yeah. Just yeah. don't. Right. Don't be an asshole. Right. How fucking hard is it to just not be an asshole? It's apparently pretty hard. <gasps> I've the, gathered. The whole Bible this, is how to be an asshole. Well, I, general human history is how to be an asshole. So, I mean, right. that, that's not especially exclusive to the Bible. No, I know. It's just that's what we're reading right now. Right. No, I just wanted to point that so out that it's, that's not specifically a Bible thing necessarily. I know. I know. It's just very painful. But there is some happiness to be had in that. Um, we just had Ohio codify abortion rights into state law and to legalize weed. Yeah, take that, Republicans. Recreational weed, so <laughs> boom. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> right? Like, you <laughs> kidding, suck. Kidding, you kidding. suck. <laughs> no, you know what? I'd be happy to have a legitimate conversation with somebody about those issues, you know? That's the thing. I don't want to taunt people about it. I'd love to have actual dialogue with people about why they think this is wrong. 
and why they why other people don't like that's I crave that kind of conversation. But you can't have a conversation with somebody who says period the end abortions mean murder right and that's where the conversation stops. Yeah, like no, that's, you can't. It's that's never. Not, it's not. It's, that's. It's very rarely a conversation. No, because it's there's not. there is no give. They can't so. hear you because right. they've already decided that they know all the science that there needs to know for that. Right. So. All your pomp has been brought down to the grave, but not your circumstance, just your pomp. <laughs> Along with the noise of your harps, maggots are spread out beneath you and worms cover you. Mm. Meow, meow. Okay. How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. Ooh. You have been cast down to the earth. You who once laid low the nations. Now they're making fun of Satan. Right? Jeez. Yeah, that's interesting. You might want to watch your P's and Q's there, sir. I mean, I don't know. Uh -huh. This is, this is, this is, they haven't referred to Satan a lot in the OT. So this is, this yeah. is interesting. I'm not trying to make fun of Satan, though. That sounds <laughs> stupid. Right. Like, why invite that? Yeah. Ooh. You said in your heart, I will ascend to the heavens. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit enthroned on the Mount of Assembly, on the utmost heights of Mount Zaphon. Mm. Zaphon Beeplebrox? <laughs> JK, that would be Zaphod, not Zaphon. Right, right. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. But you are brought down to the realm of the dead, to the depths of the pit. Meow, meow, meow. Those who see you stare at you. They ponder your fate. Is this the man who shook the earth and made kingdoms tremble? The man who made the world a wilderness, who overthrew its cities and would not let his captives go home? So wait, wait a second. I have a question because it mm -hmm. sounds almost like they're saying that the Babylonian king is essentially Lucifer. Like he was sure, ro raised up by God to defeat all these these groups mm -hmm. and then now because they referred to this person as morning, you know, the morning star, which also is you know, Lucifer, right? Mm -hmm. So it, maybe I'm interpreting this wrong, and I probably am, but it sounds like they're referring to the Babylonian king as... No, they stopped talking about oh. Babylon. Now they're specifically talking about Lucifer. Oh. They're saying they, they are talking right. to so Lucifer. But are they saying that Lucifer was the one... Are they trying to blame this whole thing on Lucifer No, now? they were like, first we were making fun of Babylon because you thought you were big, but you're nothing. And they're like, speaking of people that think they're big and are nothing, look at you, Lucifer Morningstar. You thought you were big and going to take over the planet, but we showed you, didn't we? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Like, we showed you when God killed us, too. Got it. Look at how... We brought you down by not doing anything. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, no, they're, they're just, they're on their high horse making fun of everybody. Okay. Including Lucifer. All right. All right. Yeah. All the kings of the nations lie in state, each of his own, each in his own tomb. But you are cast out of your tomb like a rejected branch. <laughs> you are covered with the slain, with those pierced by the sword, those who descend to the stones of the pit. Like a corpse trampled underfoot, you will not join them in burial, for you have destroyed your land and killed your people. Hmm. Now he's back to talking about the Babylonians. Got it. Let the offspring of the wicked never be mentioned again. Nah. We're still talking about Babylon today. Well, this though. is why it's confusing, though, because he's kind of they're switching back between mm -hmm. maybe sort of ish talk. Like, I'm I'm not sure they really know what the devil and Satan is yet. Right. So it could be just a stand-in for really shitty person who's powerful could be could be i don't know i'm not convinced but i'll 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 leave open the possibility for that okay prepare a slaughter no prepare a place to slaughter his children for the sins of their ancestors yeah mm. we like to kill kids for the things that their grandparents did that's mm. always exciting well definitely god likes to punish them anyway mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. you know. they are not to rise to inherit the land and cover the earth with their cities I will rise up against them, declares the Lord Almighty. I will wipe out Babylon's name and survivors, her offspring and descendants, mm. declares the Lord. Okay. I will turn her into a place for owls and into swampland. Mm. I will sweep her with the broom of destruction, <laughs> declares the Lord Almighty. Okay. That's, that's very, uh, mm. yeah, mm -hmm. declarative. 
Actually, yes, yeah. yes. The, the broom, <laughs> I will sweep them with the broom of destruction. Right. If that does not end up a line in my next book, <laughs> I will be very disappointed in myself. <laughs> the Lord Almighty has sworn, surely as I have planned, so it will be. And as I have purposed, so it will happen. I will crush the Assyrian in my land. Oh, now he's moved on to okay. the Assyrians. On my mountains, I will trample them down. His yoke will be taken from my people and his burden removed from their shoulders. This is the plan determined for the whole world. This is the hand stretched out over all nations. For the Lord Almighty has purposed and who can thwart him? I don't, I don't know. His hand is stretched out and who can turn it back? I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, well, here we go. Now we're going to talk about Philistia. Philistia? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Some more surrounding people, I guess. All right. This prophecy came in the year King Ahaz died. Okay. Do not rejoice, all you Philistines, that the rod that struck you is broken. From the root of that snake will spring up a viper. Mm. Its fruit will be a darting, venomous serpent. The poorest of the poor will find pasture, and the needy will lie down in safety. But your root I will destroy by famine. It will slay your survivors. Mwah, mwah, mwah. You remember earlier in the Bible, he didn't seem to give two fucks about the the neighboring groups unless right. they unless they tried to attack mm -hmm. his people, right? Yeah. But now all of a sudden mm -hmm. they've they've branched out. So like I'm assuming like populations have grown, right? Mm -hmm. And we're all of a sudden this is just history in general caring more about their neighbors, right? Yeah. yeah. So now all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Out of nowhere, yes. We suddenly care about the neighbors, and we want them all dead. Apparently, yes, we do. But they're very they're much. all to die, die, and hard. and or be slaves. Sure. Okay, I just I'm just clarifying because yes. like we really didn't give a fuck about them unless they were sitting in, in the land occupying we our land that we want. Yeah, right. Not our land. Not the our land, land. We wanted their land, but yeah, the land we wanted to live sure. on, yeah. and the they Israelites were in status. our way. Right. Yeah, yeah. Wail, you gate! Howl, you city! Melt away, all you Philistines. Oh, that sounds like something Shakespeare would say. I guess he read his Bible good. <laughs> I guess. A cloud of smoke comes from the north, and there is not a straggler in its ranks. What answer shall be given to the envoys of that nation? The Lord has established Zion, and in her his afflicted people will find refuge. The end. There you go, refuge. Refuge, refuge, <laughs> refuge. Yeah, yeah. There that was go. that was it. Yep, that was it. That was it. all the that was all the killing of neighbors today that we Get go over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jesus, that was a lot of fucking murder and mayhem. Right? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. and taunting like the taunting just that that the really bullying. gets me. Like it's not just that we're going to kill them all; we're going to taunt them as well. Mm -hmm. And yes, I understand that they killed you, but according to your own fucking Bible, mm -hmm. according to your own fucking bible mm -hmm. your god is the one that sent them after you in the first place and then he turns around and kills them right and then you taunt them and make them slaves like how fucked is that that's right? just absolutely ridiculous very very bad parenting very bad kids the whole family got to right go, this is not honestly. good behavior in any no, way whatsoever no not for it. I am not either. I, I think this is complete and utter bullshit. I'm not a fan of Isaiah. No, I, I get the impression that he's like uh, the uh, the the mega crowd, the make Israel great again crowd. <laughs> <laughs> mega, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, yeah, and he he has a lot of that same rhetoric and and, yeah, uh, and tone. You yeah. know, it feels like to me. I agree. Yeah. So, uh, do you have anything else to go over before we uh, close this out? Because we're doing our Q&As now on Saturdays again. So right, right. I think that was pretty much it. Is that yeah, right? That's all I got for today. All right. So, that was um, Isaiah chapter 14. Sure as fuck was. And we will be back tomorrow with... Isaiah chapter 15. We'll see you guys then. Yep. Bye. Hey, wife. I guess that's the end. But husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh my God. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. 
Oh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh, yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye.